Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the VStack function in Excel to combine multiple lists into a single list. I'll also combine the VStack function with the sort function to get a sorted list. Now, I know what you're thinking, Power Query lets you combine lists. So why should I learn yet another way of doing it? Why should I use the VStack function? Well, Power Query does indeed do that using append queries. But like many things in Excel, there's often more than one way to do something. VStack is much quicker and much simpler than Power Query and being a function doesn't need to be refreshed when the source data updates. VStack is only available to 365 subscribers. So with that, let's jump right in. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here I have three lists. They happen to be on separate sheets, but they could be on the same sheet. The lists should have the same column headings in the same order. The UK list contains employees based in the UK. The France list contains employees based in France and the Spain list contains employees based in Spain. I need to combine these lists into a single list which will live in the full list sheet. I can then use the single list as the source for pivot tables and other things. Each list has been converted into a table. You don't have to do this, but if the lists are likely to grow, and these lists will as more people join the company, having the lists as tables will make your life easier. So on the UK sheet, I'll click on the table tab and on the left hand side of the ribbon, you can see I've named the table TBL UK. For the France list, the table is named TBL France and for the Spain list, the table is called TBL Spain. You don't have to name the tables with TBL at the beginning. You don't have to have consistency, but it's better if you do. So I've named them all TBL something. I'll go to the full list sheet. Now the headings there I've had to copy and paste from one of the other sheets. They don't come across automatically. And also don't make this a table. The VStack function won't work in a table. In A2 I'll type equals VStack open brackets and I specify each array that I want to combine separated by a comma. So the first array is going to be TBL UK, then a comma. The second array is going to be TBL France and the table names are not case sensitive. And the third array is TBL Spain. Close the brackets and enter. And what it's done is it's combined all that data together. Now I'd like to sort that full list by salary, highest to lowest. And if I go over to column G and right click and then select sort largest to smallest, it won't let me do it. Because the VStack function has resulted in an array, I cannot sort part of an array. So what I have to do is I have to combine the VStack function with the sort function. So I'll go back to A2, which is where I typed the VStack function, and I will edit the formula. Click after the equal sign, type sort, that's the name of the function, open brackets. The first parameter for the sort function is what you want to be sorted, which is the result of the VStack function. So I'll put a comma at the end of that. The sort index is a number. And in this case, it's seven. And the reason it's seven is because I want to sort that array by the seventh column, which is annual salary. Then another comma. And I want to sort in descending order, highest to lowest. So I can either double click on descending or I can type a minus one. Then close the brackets and enter. And I now get a list of all the employees in France, Spain and UK sorted by annual salary, highest to lowest. 
Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter, which you can do at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day. Thank you.